Hi, Lisbeth Leroy here with uh, the second episode in a series on bass flutes. Uh, today I'm discussing and playing uh, the first type of uh, bass flute. It's um, the bass flute where the maker has tried to reduce the distance between the mouthpiece and the true sound hole uh, to make the distance uh, between mouth and uh, fingers shorter. So uh, I have four bass flutes for you today and they're all made by uh, JP Gomez and um, I'm starting with a low D, a D4 and um, here you can see that the distance between mouthpiece and sound hole is still quite large and it also uh, allows a large uh, totem if you want. Um, usually we start talking about bass flutes um, uh, starting from uh, D, low D. So I'll let you hear what it sounds like. favorite flutes. It's made in uh, black walnut. Uh, black walnut is my favorite wood for uh, bass flutes because um, it's quite light and it still has uh, some projection um, more than cedar. Um, cedar is also very nice but uh, it has less projection and the sound will sound a little bit uh, softer. Um, as you can see, the bore is not that thick here when you compare it, for instance, to the low A. There is a big difference. Um, and also, it looks uh, quite like an ordinary uh, Native American style flute. The next down the scale is a low C. And uh, again, it's made of uh, black walnut. And here you see that uh, the distance between mouthpiece and true sound hole is already a bit shorter. And also the totem is made shorter because of that. Um, you still see that uh, the finger holes are all aligned uh, vertically in one line. There is no offset fing fingering necessary yet. Also a beautiful sound. Um, yes, I always... It is so relaxing to play this flute. It's incredible. Uh, so this is the low C by uh, J.P. Gomez um, with the first type of bass flutes where he shortens the distance between mouthpiece and sound hole. Then we have the B. Uh, it is a B3 already 
and uh, also made of black walnut, a very nice uh, totem uh, with the tatanka and uh, very nice inlays. And also here you can see that this distance is uh, shortened. Here you see offset fingering, so the last finger hole is made a little bit to the right so that you can more easily reach it instead of like here when you need a longer finger the finger hole is placed offset which makes it easier and more ergonomic <laughs> This type is the A3, the low A, and you can see that this distance is really short. And this time it is made in uh, redwood. Redwood is also an excellent wood for um, bass flutes, also very light. And uh, offset fingering is also here. but one and that is that the lowest you can make these flutes is a low A so if you want a low G you have to think of another solution but we'll come to that in the next episode don't forget to let me know what you think and uh, if you haven't done so already please subscribe and see you next time bye bye